Hello everyone, right here I have a 2020 BMW 218i Grand Coupe M Sport And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it Show you the features inside and out So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously and to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Standard on the F44 2 Series Grand Coupe in Malaysia is BMW's Comfort Access Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have the key form on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the four door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. The windows dip down a little bit as you open the doors to clear the door frame. And that is because the windows in this car are frameless. Along with the smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the 2 series Grand Coupe, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the right of the gear lever. The F44 2 Series Grand Coupe gets the rack and pinion electric power steering system. With the M Sport trim, there is an M leather steering wheel with the M badging on the bottom spoke and thick sport grips at 10 and 2. The 218i Grand Coupe in Malaysia only gets a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Also known as a DCT in short, it is a type of automated manual transmission with two clutches, one for odd gears and another for even gears. A DCT offers faster shifts and better fuel efficiency over regular automatic transmission. This transmission features a sport mode and steptronic manual shifting. For Malaysia, a reverse camera along with front and rear parking sensors are standard. Within the reverse camera display, there are active guidance signs front and rear, and to the left, one can select the park assist system, the reversing assistance system, turn on or off the reverse camera, adjust the brightness and the contrast, turn on or off the parking guidance signs and obstacle markings, and bring up the settings menu. Just below the ignition button are the buttons for the driving experience control driving modes. Sport tunes the car for more dynamic drive. Within Sport, there is the standard setting or the driver selectable individual setting. Comfort is the default setting upon startup. For a more fuel efficiency focused ride, select Eco Pro. Eco Pro also allows drivers to choose between standard or the customizable individual setting. In terms of safety, the 218i Grand Coupe gets 6 airbags, interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake lights, electronic differential lock control, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. Driver assistance features include lane departure warning, lane change warning, forward collision warning with brake intervention, crossing traffic warning rear, and rear collision prevention. 18-inch M double spoke style 819M by color light alloy rims are part of the M Sport trim. This car uses 22540R18 Bridgestone Turenza T005 run flat tires. 
ventilated disc brakes are present all round. McPherson struts and a multi-link setup make up the front and the rear suspension respectively. Part of the M Sport trim as well is an M Sport suspension system. BMW presented its take on the Mercedes-Benz CLA, the 2 Series Grand Coupe, online in October 2019. It officially debuted at the 2019 Los Angeles Auto Show. Codenamed F44, the 2 Series Grand Coupe is the fifth body style in BMW's 2 Series lineup. Unlike the 2 Series Coupe and Convertible which are driven by the rear wheels, the 2 Series Grand Coupe is driven by the front wheels like the 2 Series Active Tourer and Grand Tourer. The 2 Series Grand Coupe rides on BMW's UKL platform and is related to the F41 Series hatchback. It is also slightly larger than the F52 1 Series saloon that is available in China and Mexico. In places where the 1 Series lineup is not available, the 2 Series Grand Coupe serves as BMW's base model. The F44 2 Series Grand Coupe went on sale in Malaysia just last month. The engine in the 218i is a 1.5 litre, dual of 8 cams, 12 valves, turbocharged inline 3 petrol unit. Codenamed B38A15M1, this engine has Valvetronic variable valve lift, double Venos variable valve timing, and high precision direct injection. It produces 138 horsepower at 4600 to 6500 RPM and 220 Nm of torque at 1480 to 4200 RPM. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 8.7 seconds, and the top speed is 213 km per hour. The fuel tank is 42 liters big, and the combined fuel consumption for the 218i Grand Coupe DCT is 5.9 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 135 grams per kilometer, and the 2 Series Grand Coupe is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the 218i Grand Coupe M Sport include automatic auto-leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the front, the sides, and the rear, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, the M Aerodynamics package, BMW individual high-gloss shadow line exterior trim, a high-gloss chrome front grille, a single chrome exhaust pipe, and body-colored door handles and side mirrors. Central locking, speaker, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, window lock, bottle holder, storage, interior brightness adjustment, these two buttons are for the parking lights, storage, M door sills and the driver's seat in this 218i Grand Coupe M Sport does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there including your 2-person memory function, your power side bolster support and the only manual adjustment for the seat comes in the form of the thigh support adjusted using the lever right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, off button, driver side temperature, different modes, passenger side temperature, front area defrost, automatic mode, recirculation, maximum air conditioning, and this one brings up your climate control menu on the infotainment display. Right here, you can select sink, climate control, air quality, and auxiliary ventilation. Now, sync means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control the temperature for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have individual temperature controls. This button brings up the intelligent safety menu. Seek track, eight customizable buttons. You can program these eight buttons to store say your favorite navigation address, your favorite contact, your favorite radio station, so on and so forth. Volume and power knob, different mode selection button, different band selection button, Qi wireless charging pad, USB port, cup holders, power outlet. This button, press it once and you activate the dynamic traction control system. Press and hold the button to deactivate the dynamic stability control system parking sensors. This one activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If the feature is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. And right here, you have the 2 Series Grand Coupe's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. There is an auto hold function for the parking brake whereby say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam you lift your foot off the brake, the car is in drive with the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The 218i Grand Coupe M Sport comes with the BMW Navigation System touch screen head unit. The system features an 8.8 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options and navigation. Sound is provided by 6 speakers producing 110 watts of power. stock sound system that this 218i Grand Coupe uses is actually quite good. Apart from the touch screen function, the 8.8 inch display right above can also be controlled using your set of controls right next to the gear lever. You have the knob that goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. On top of the knob is a touchpad where you can input say letters and numbers into the system. Behind the knob, back and option buttons and ahead of the knob Shortcut buttons for your media, communications, home, connected drive, map, and navigation. Now let's start with the media radio menu. Right here, we have your list of media options, save stations, FM, AM, Bluetooth audio streaming, USB, sound, you can manage mobile devices, and personalize the menu. Under sound, you can adjust the bass treble, balance fader, volume settings, reset back to default, and the audio feedback when you touch the touch screen or the touchpad. Right here, the current media playing information. Artist, album will show up here if present. Song title, list of songs. Album art will show up here if present. Song duration. To the left, you can search, look at artists, tracks, and shuffle. To the right, you can activate your split screen and go through the various split screen options and to go back to the main menu you can click the knob until you reach the main menu or hit the home button straight away next up communication with your contacts call lists dial number manage mobile devices bmw assistance bmw messages memos and you can personalize the menu right here as well navigation you can input an address, recent destinations, enter new destination, add intermediate destination, look at the map, and bring up your settings. Under the map, right here we have the map. You can use the knob to zoom in and out. 
If we click the knob down, you can save position, show details, and to the left, you can bring up your route guidance, route information, spoken instructions, traffic and additional information, change the map views, and enter your interactive map. Right here, you can use the knob to go up, down, left, right to your desired location, use the touchpad to go to your desired location, or use the touch display itself. Once you're done, push the knob down, and you can bring up a list of options. Next up, connected drive menu, connected drive store, your various vehicle apps. My vehicle. Right up here, you can have your vehicle settings, lights, doors, keys, so on and so forth. iDrive settings, mobile devices, language, display and displays, date and time, units, and all that. Contents of main menu, driver profiles, vehicle status, technology in action. Right here, your efficient dynamics monitor, driving style analysis, and your sport displays. Right here, it tells you how much power and torque you're using. driving information, and lastly, the onboard owner's handbook. To the far right is the vehicle notifications. Now, once in the main menu, if we go back to this display, hit the top left button, and you can rearrange the tiles so you don't have to use the default format that BMW supplies you with. If you hit the clock, you can adjust the date and time. Central locking. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Wiper controls, volume controls, seat track. This one allows you to go through the list of songs. This one allows you to change between your various media options. Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, cruise control and speed limiter controls, indicator controls, And if you locate the button at the end of the indicator stalk, you can go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, mileage and trip meter, average speed and average fuel consumption, fuel consumption information, more fuel consumption information, digital speedometer, compass, display off, and back to the mileage and trip meter. The steering wheel in this car is still telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Front center armrest with storage down below. You can find a USB-C port right in there as well. Frameless, auto dimming, rear view mirror, front LED reading lights. It also doubles up as your interior lights for the front. SOS emergency button. And the sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror together with an LED light. All right.
right. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speakers, window control, bottle holder, storage. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And my head is actually touching the roof so no headroom for me back here. But the seats are fairly nice and comfortable. On the front seat backs are storage pockets together with cutouts that help with additional leg room. Rear aircon vents in the middle, together with a couple of USB-C ports down below. And to fold down the 20 portion of the split folding rear seats, pull the receiver right here. But apart from that, right here you also have A rear center armrest with cup holders. Right above, for both sides at the back, are hooks. You have your rear LED reading lights slash interior lights right up there. There are three ways to pop open the boot lid in this 2020 2 Series Grand Coupe. Boot space in the 2 Series Grand Coupe is 430 litres with the rear seat backs in place. Fold the 40-20-40 split rear seat backs down using the levers on the top of the boot to allow for more boot space. On the top of the boot as well is an LED light. Meanwhile, to the right, there is a hook, a storage area, and a power outlet. Under the boot floor is more storage. Adjustable headrests, front and rear.
speaker, window control, bottle holder, storage, And the front passenger seat in this 2 series Grand Coupe does get full powered adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side just that this side loses out on the memory function and the power side bolster support. You also have manual thigh support for this side adjusted using the lever here. Nicely sized glove box, it is illuminated. Sun visor for the front passenger does get a vanity mirror and an LED light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2020 BMW 218i Grand Coupe M Sport. Thanks for watching and goodbye.